How's it going there, YouTube? Well, I got a quick little project that I've been working on here this week because the Kawartha Antique Power Show that I go to every year is featuring Oliver Hart, Par, and Cockshut. And while you guys know me, Oliver Hart, Par, and Cockshut are uh, my most favorite brand of tractors. So I'm trying to bring a little bit extra to the show this year. And I had quite the idea because I picked up that Oliver Hart Park flag off eBay there back in the wintertime. So here's kind of what I come up with. What do you guys think of that? I'm working on putting together a flagpole kit for the 1820E. Because, of course, Oliver built the cockshot 1820E. They did a whole video on that and whatnot. So I figured I was going to make me a little flagpole mount and go on the back of the Hart Park. Of course, I don't want anything permanent because I only just want to take it pretty much to this show. I might use it on other shows, but... Not really quite sure yet, but uh, definitely for an Oliver Hart Park feature, I'm going all out. So, it's really quite simple. Hopefully we get some f breeze going and uh, it'll blow the flag. Or if we're driving around, it'll blow the flag for us. But it's really quite simple of an idea to have. I just had a piece of 3 8 plate run around. Now, I know some of you are wondering, oh, why'd you go so thick for it? Well, I'm not one to make something and have, say like this, and have the wind take and twist that plate off. So I just happen to have that lying around. This is just mocked up right now. I'm gonna get some thicker bolts for it, but I just mocked this together right now. Of course, I gotta drill some holes in the plate and I'm gonna bolt that flag mount to the plate. And of course, I wanted the plate to come out past the platform here. As you can see, I'm pretty tight. Pretty tight with it. So. I picked up the flag pole off eBay, of course, or sorry, Amazon, and it's a six foot pole. It's actually meant to go on a house, but uh, with a little bit of modification you can put on a farm tractor. So I think I might even spray this pole all over Hart Park Green, because I do have quite a bit of that around. Uh, I just got to drill some holes down here in the plate to mount the base for the pole in still, but I figured I'd show you guys this neat little project that it is, I just, you know, Cut and tinker in the shop for an evening, but anyway, I'm gonna go back and keep cleaning up these tractors and getting them ready to go for the year because, well, I'm not gonna go to an Oliver Hart Park feature with a half full trailer. So, anyway, we'll see you guys here in a bit. Thanks for watching as always.